Hi everyone, I'm Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about why we don't really hear bass. We kind of feel it, and feeling is maybe not a real descript term either, but for lack of another word and, and something that's easy to communicate in a video presentation, let's use the word feel. So why don't we hear bass? We feel it. Let, let's kind of go with that uh, premise right now for purposes of illustration. Let's look at the ear structure because that's our hearing device. That's where all sound energy goes into and is processed. And it really has, if you remember from your basic science course, it really has three parts. It has the outer, which is your ears. It has the middle part, which are the bones, and we probably all can name those. Um, there's three sets. And then we have the inner ear, which is really in electronical terms kind of an analog when energy strikes the ear. It's an analog waveform, still analog here in the middle ear where we have bones vibrating. And then here in the inner ear, it gets converted into a signal that our brain can then process, okay? So it's really a converter from analog to digital. So we have these three parts of the ear and we're dealing with wavelengths like an uh, 80 hertz wave, um, or a, uh, let's just use 60 hertz wave, could be 18 foot long. So we have 18 foot and our whole ear structure is two and a half inches. Okay, so how does an 18 foot wave get processed in this three chambered system that converts analog to digital and does it in two and a half inches? Well, at certain frequencies it does well, but at other frequencies it does not. And in acoustics and uh, hearing auditory science, there's a, a set of curves called the fletcher munson curves, and they process this whole hearing th system and put numbers to it. And if you look at those graphs carefully, if you look at the fletcher munson curves that involve hearing, we see that less than 80 cycles, this two and a half inches is not really good at processing that long 18 foot wavelength. So how, how do we do that? How do we hear bass? Well, we really don't because the fletcher munson curves show that anything above 80 cycles is processed pretty regularly, but below we have a high margin of error uh, in the signal. So I think we can safely assume it's not like everything above 80 cycles and everything below 80 cycles is a little bit difficult for our two and a half inch analog to digital system to process. That said, how do we do it? Well, the process is called bone conductance. A good way to understand bone conductance is to record your voice. Play it back. Does, how does it sound to you? Well, it's not going to sound like you think it sounds. It's not going to sound like your perception of how you think you sound. And that's the difference. So what accounts for that? What accounts for that resonance difference or that perception difference? Well, it's the sound of your skull, so to speak. It's the structure in which your voice is contained in. It's the speaker cabinet. This is the driver, your mouth. So it's all part of, of that process. So the big difference between the recorded sound and what, how you think, oh, do I, I don't sound like that. Well, you do, but not to yourself, because you have your skull and the bone conductance, the resonances that go on within your skull, accounting for your perception of how you sound. So, anything below 80 cycles, let's just uh, argue for discussion purposes, we feel. Okay, we feel it through bone, our skeletal system. And these are the two ways that, that we really perceive these long wavelengths. And um, a good, good experiment to kind of uh, test this out, we do this a lot in our studio, you, you put the subwoofer right next to your listening chair. 
and put your hand on the subwoofer. And as the low frequency energy is emitted from your main speakers, the sub will come in at whatever frequency you have it crossed at. Let's just use the 80 cycles and listen to the difference and put your hand on the subwoofer and feel the vibrations of the cabinet and you'll get some kind of idea of how this bone conductance system works. It's vibrational transmission through the head and through the skeletal today's system. today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.